This analysis is made for the character of Vernestra Rowe, who is a newer character within the Star Wars The High Republic and the franchise as a whole, and is designed as a pre-mortem for future Versus series analysis. For anyone who is interested in learning more about Vernestra Rowe and her story, she can be found in the middle grade novels A Test of Courage by Justina Ireland, Race to Crash Point Tower by Daniel Jose Older, and the young adult novel Out of the Shadows by Justina Ireland. She also appears in a cameo role in the High Republic comic series by Kevan Scott through issues 2 to 5. In short, Vernestra Rowe was the apprentice of Jedi Master Stellan Geos before receiving the rank of Jedi Knight at age 15, making her the youngest Jedi to be knighted, at least until Ben Skywalker came around. She would go on to take an apprentice named Imri Kenataro years later and would play a role in the conflict between the Jedi Order and the villainous Nile and monstrous Drengear. Her story is not yet complete, and perhaps when it is, I will make an updated video. With all that out of the way, let's begin. Vernestra Rowe is a Miriallan female, 18 years of age, where we last left off with her. Miriallans were known for being near-human within their attributes with advanced dexterity and agility. Just entering her physical prime, Vernestra took full advantage of her species' inherited traits, relying mainly on her speed and agility as her primary physical traits. She has been consistently shown attempting to speed blitz her opponents in the early fight, while incorporating acrobatics into her fighting style for both offensive coverage as well as using it for tactical evasion. Her strength is not lacking, shown by her matching her Padawan Imri Kenataros blow for blow, despite the Padawan being nearly a head taller than her. Beyond that, her durability was average at best, and her endurance was comparable, though she could tire out after an intense overuse of her Force abilities. Vernestra Rowe is a Tier 3 in terms of physical attributes, and can best be described as a glass cannon combatant. She has covered nearly all her bases, while operating primarily as a speed blitz combatant, focusing almost all of her effort in that category, while unable to truly enhance her pain threshold, nor her stamina in the middle of a fight. Her Miriallan traits do not give her a species advantage over humans, since Miriallans are basically near human. Vernestra Rowe was a skilled martial artist, despite living in an era mostly of peace, and stood out as a young talent in her own right. Vernestra has outright stated that her technique is based off of the one used by Grandmaster Yoda. Coupled out with her speed and agility focus makes it very clear that Vernestra was a specialist in Form 4 Ataru. However, when talking with her old friend Reith Silas, she mentioned the fact that her technique took bits and elements from other forms, and with everything shown in her appearances, it makes me believe that she used Ataru as the backbone to her technique while implementing elements of both Sarisu and Shien into her style. When fighting offensively, Vernestra enjoyed using her speed to her advantage, throwing herself at the opponent with a flurry of speed-based attacks, and throwing the opponent off guard while occasionally implementing physical strikes into her sequences, yet another core part of the Ataru style. While she has used force-based attacks in her lightsaber sequences, she has only ever done this against blaster assailants and not other duelists. When fighting defensively, she focuses on the tenets of Sarisu, planting herself to the ground and becoming immovable until she could find an opening in her opponent's technique. Lastly, Vernestra has modified her lightsaber with the function of transforming into a light whip. She has used the light whip to disarm Imri Kenataros of his lightsaber and has wielded it in a more freeform style to deflect blaster bolts. Vernestra Rowe is a Tier 4 martial artist, best described as a versatile speedster. While she does hybridize her form with other elements, she is a pretty straightforward Ataru specialist otherwise. Her use of the Light Whip is not often employed in duels, and she removes her use of force integration during fights as well, sticking to what she's good at without expanding her application further unless absolutely necessary. 
Another thing to mention is that Vernestra has never actually faced an opponent on her own level. Both Padawans Wreath Silas and Imri Kenitaros are known for having weaker connections to the Force, and Wreath is known for not being one for combat. Vernestra has never actually gotten the chance to face an opponent on her own level, nor anyone better, which has allowed her to stay in the mindset that her style is as good as it is and without need for advancement, which is purely overconfidence, and she has been seen being overwhelmed by intense barrages of blaster fire. If she can be overwhelmed by that, imagine watching a duel between her and someone like Darth Vader. It wouldn't end well. Not much is known about Vernestra's overall considered potential in the Force, but seeing as she was knighted at age 15, she was pretty powerful with her gift, surely. Physical augmentation was a standard, and Vernestra was no exception in her application. In the realm of sense-based abilities, she was capable of the basics, while instinctually sensing disturbances sometimes before they even happened. She possessed a special affinity for Force visions, seeing the design for her light whip, as well as hyperspace paths through her dreams. In the realm of telepathy, she has been shown assisting her apprentice Imri clear his mind after he was mentally overwhelmed with the emotions of various survivors of an attack, although she did require help from her fellow Jedi to accomplish this. In the realm of telekinesis, she has been shown casually lifting large boulders, holding a broadleaf over her head to protect her from acid rain, and even instinctually deflecting said acid rain from hitting her, although she couldn't keep this act up for long. Beyond that, she has casually employed force-based pushes and shoves against Nile opponents, and completely overpowered Imri with telekinesis. Surprisingly, for someone her age, she was capable of force crush, using it to crush various pieces of debris to use as a shield for a broken airlock, preventing people from falling out of the crashing ship and into space. While her active force barriers were highly capable, at one point even shielding a small starship from an asteroid field, her passive barriers were easily broken. Last but not least was Vernestra's gift with force stasis. She was capable of completely halting both people and vehicles using the power creatively to halt civilians from being sucked out into space. Another thing to mention is the fact that when she uses too much of her power, she can begin to tire out easily. Vernestra Rowe is a Tier 4 in terms of Force abilities, best known as a telekinetic savant. She is incredibly gifted with her abilities and talented in her application. However, she seems to specialize in what she's good at rather than rounding out her skill set focusing nearly all her efforts on Force Visions, Telekinesis, and Force Stasis, while other abilities like Telepathy are left severely lacking. I think this failing as a Force Wielder is in the same mentality as her lackings as a Swordswoman. She's never been forced to fight someone on her own level, and thinks that her special powers can get her through any situation, which, when that time comes, and she does fight someone on her level, that mindset will get her into trouble very quickly. Vernestra Rowe was ultimately a Tier 4 combatant. She is incredibly gifted with the skills and abilities that she has, but is ultimately over-reliant on her trump cards due to her lack of experience against opponents equal to or above her own level. She doesn't try to punch above her own level because she's never had to before. While I don't believe she is on the same Tier 4 level as characters such as Rom Coda, Luminara Unduli, and Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker, I do believe she is closer in strength and skill to being such as Githany and Attack of the Clones Obi-Wan Kenobi, being on the lower side of Tier 4, but a Tier 4 nonetheless.